So I'm gonna um, set it up from the from the beginning, and we'll we'll initially start with our in this case a hundred mil round bottom flask, and I'll secure that in one of our clamps, and and we're gonna grease these joints for two reasons. One is to, to, to prevent this glassware from freezing. If you have a when, when you heat glassware, it has a tendency to freeze. And it, it's very hard to take apart after the distillation. The, the addition of grease prevents that freezing, and you can take the glassware uh, apart more easily. Also, because it's vapor, it can more easily escape. And if it, if it escapes near a joint, you won't collect anything in your distillation flask. Okay? So I'm going to take the next piece of glassware, which is our uh, sidearm adapter. I'm going to take a, uh, one of these uh, uh, applicator sticks that has grease on it, and basically add a little bit of grease at two points on the joint, which are 180 degrees apart. So just a little bit of grease, you don't need a whole lot. And you want to put it as high on the joint as possible, because you don't want this grease getting into your solvent that you're trying to distill. And usually you're going to rotate this once or twice and you'll start to see the grease uh, spread out as you, as you do this. Uh, the next thing we'll add to this is our water jacket of the condenser and the, 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 the liquid is heated, it, it vaporizes and then as it goes through the water jacket of the condenser it will uh, condense and uh, it'll still be vapor so we need, to, we need to grease this joint as well. So I'll add a little bit of grease again, just a little bit of grease towards the top of the joint at two points, 180 degrees apart. And before I uh, clamp this, I'm going to put this on there and make, rotate that around so we get a nice um, seal. Okay, we add this in here. Now this clamp is used mainly for stabilization. You don't want this to be very tight. You don't want to clamp this down all the way. This is just there to provide a little bit of support. Okay, so I got that in there. It's not too tight, but now the glassware is not going to move. Okay? At that point, at this point, the vapor has gone through the water jacket condenser and has condensed. So when it reaches the outlet, it is no longer a vapor. So we don't have to worry about grease at this point. We can add our vacuum adapter and add a keck clip here to stabilize our glassware so it doesn't fall off. Okay, I'm going to use a round bottom flask as our uh, receiving flask. Again, we just add it in there and we can add a keck clip to uh, secure it. One of the last things you do at this point is we're going to add our thermometer adapter in at the top here and when you add the thermometer to the thermometer adapter, you want to hold the thermometer as close to the entrance of this thermometer adapter as possible. So you, you add it in there and you just move it a little bit, move it a little bit. The closer you are to this joint, it makes it easier to, to slip this in there. The farther away, you have a possibility of breaking the thermometer, and you want to do that. So we, we put this in there, I probably put that in way too far. I'll move this out a little bit. Okay. So now we can set this in there. And you want to adjust this thermometer bulb so that the top of the thermometer bulb, the top of the red portion of this thermometer, lies right at the joint of this side arm adapter. We have the top of the, the red portion of the thermometer is exactly in line with this uh, side arm adapter. This joint also has the potential of coming into contact with vapor. So we need to grease this joint as well. So I'll take that out and add a little bit of grease Again, at, at, at just two small points of grease, the top of the joint, 180 degrees apart. You can slide that in there and rotate this around. Get a nice seal. Okay. Okay. Now we want to add the rubber tubing, which will be available in your hood. And the water goes in at the bottom. Okay, so water in. You can always um, get the tubing just a little bit wet and it will help it slide on to the, to the, to the water jacket and condenser. And the tubing that goes to the, to the drain comes out the top. Okay, so I'm going to slide that on. 
Okay, so this is what a simple distillation uh, setup looks like. Finally, if everything is set up correctly, everything's nice and uh, secure, you can raise what is referred to as a heating mantle up and get a nice snug fit with our um, our setup. Okay. Okay. So I've uh, added some ethyl acetate to the um, to the, to the distilling flask so that I can show you what you want to look for when you uh, uh, perform a simple distillation. Okay, so you see the, the, the solution boiling in this and uh, you don't want this boiling too vigorously. This is boiling nice and gently, you know, a couple bubbles here and there. It's probably difficult for you to see the reflux ring for this solvent. But what will happen is the vapor comes up, it condenses because of the water going through the, the, the water jacket condenser. I have no water on at this point. So this is basically acting as an air condenser. When you do a distillation of any sort, you want to be able to control how quickly you're collecting the, the, the liquid, the solvent that you're boiling off. Okay? And generally the rule is that if you, get, if you have one drop coming out every two to three seconds, that's a good rate. Okay? This is probably a little bit faster, but this is a low boiling solvent, so that's, that's generally okay. Um, some of the some of the issues that, that you may come into or you may that may arise when you're doing a simple distillation is that some people will get confused when reading the, the, the temperature of the thermometer. Initially the thermometer will read room temperature between 20 and 25 degrees uh, before you start to heat. And as you heat, the temperature of the thermometer will not increase tremendously. Okay, it will not increase until the vapor reaches the thermometer bulb. Once it reaches the thermometer bulb, it'll, it'll, the, the temperature will rise very rapidly up to the boiling point of the solvent that's coming over. Okay? So in this case, uh, that would be the boiling point of ethyl acetate because I'm simply doing this distillation with pure ethyl acetate. Okay? So I'm going to stop this, um, this reaction and I'm going to set up or show you how to modify this experimental setup for what is called fractional distillation. Simple distillation is for um, the separation of liquids where the boiling points are at least 60 to 70 degrees different from one another. Okay? So simple distillation is for purifying solvents that you're going to use in a reaction, but generally it's, it's um, we're going to use fractional distillation in the lab to separate or purify out material. Okay, so I'm going to show that next. Okay, so I've uh, essentially dismantled or taken apart the simple distillation setup to show, to show you how easy it is to get from a simple distillation setup to a fractional distillation setup. Now, a fractional distillation there's basically simply more space between your the flask that you're heating and the place the, where the vapor is going to condense. And there are a variety of different columns you can use. One could be a simple air condenser where you would just ha simply have air in there. But what we're using here is a, what's called a Vigro column. And this has basically glass, um, little glass uh, rods that are shooting through this, uh, this air condenser and what that does is it, it creates more surface area and more surface area corresponds to more liquid to vapor equilibriums the more liquid to vapor equilibriums the more pure the solvent is or the material that you're distilling off okay so you basically would put this there we have to grease the joint so I'm going to add a little bit of grease put that in there and spin that around okay got a nice seal there and now that's the only difference between a simple distillation and a fractional distillation.